I hope my makeup looks okay. I've had my makeup on for maybe a good 13 hours since the beginning of the day. It is 1.32 a.m. It's my birthday and I'm fi filming a video. <laughs> So the last favorites video that I posted in this channel was from February. So this favorites video is going to be slightly longer. And I'm going to include a couple of things that I've been obsessed with in life in general. So I'm going to include some lifestyle favorites, I guess, with this beauty favorites video. Excuse my little armband thing. My wrist hurts. And when age and aging comes knocking at your door you experience pains like this it's just i think it's just carpal tunnel just catching up with the daily motions of life so there's my very fashionable accessory for this video so the first favorite product that i'm going to tell you guys about um this has been a favorites for a very very long time but i've never really kind of introduced this this is my favorite makeup wipes this is the simple sensitive skin makeup wipes and this is my favorite because i usually just use one it takes off all my makeup and it doesn't irritate the eyes i actually haven't tried the neutrogena one i know that one is very popular here in the beauty community on youtube but i've never really tried that one i absolutely adore this one i've finished multiple packets of this little thing because i traveled with this a lot this was actually a lifesaver so that i would save from the weight of adding more liquids from a cleanser and a makeup remover since this basically took care of everything for me another favorite product as far as a tool product is the elf ultimate blending brush i actually look forward to putting my foundation because of this brush because it just blends in your the foundation so well it's so soft it's so rounded a very good brush to blend everything in your face and just basically kind of massage your face as you're blending your foundation i absolutely love this i have a video of all the new elf brushes that has come out if you guys haven't seen that with a demo on how I use this brush I will link it down below in case you wanted some more information it was a mini review so basically I love this product it's a godsend and it's only six dollars since I have been gone for the month I have been to two vacations I was in Cancun and then a few weeks after that my husband and I went to Hawaii and so I really wanted a foundation that could act as a sunscreen as well and this it cosmetic CC plus has SPF 50 which is really really nice because I would usually wear sunscreen and then put this over and then basically swim with it and feel confident that I still look so somewhat normal because I felt like it didn't really wash off in the water. The only thing with this product is that if you are very oily, it is kind because of the high SPF on it, it actually looks really shiny when you put it on. So I usually set it with powder. So I have to set this with powder because I just end up looking really, really blotchy. But I do recommend this, especially in the summertime if you're traveling. If you wanted a two-in-one product, I do recommend this. So as far as the palette favorite products or just kind of eyeshadow products that have been my favorite for the past few months, um, the first thing I wanted to mention is this one right here is from ColourPop Cosmetics and this one is called Millionaire. If you have seen my previous Get Ready With Me video, I use this product. It's very, very shiny, metallic. I just absolutely adore the color of this. So this one is Millionaire. And then for a blush product, I have two that I have been obsessed with. This one is the Polish Choice Skincare. This is their blush palette. I believe this retails for $36 and it comes with six things. You can get a bronzer, a highlighter, four blushes. And I felt like the color combination of this blush palette screams summer. L bronzer color for this works as a bronzer and a contour as well so I absolutely adore this with the amount of scent that I have been getting this past few months I have been gravitating towards this blush from makeup geek and I believe this one is called infatuation if you have a tan this blush is just so gorgeous it basically just kind of gives you a glow that you just kind of got this fresh sun-kissed look without making you look too overdone for contouring, I know everyone's been contouring and strobing. I just don't like the word strobing. I don't know why, but to me it sounds dirty. But anyways, <laughs> for 
contouring, I wanted to give a final shout out to my sleek contour kit. I know there's, I have a lot of contour kits, but when it comes down to just the simplicity of having a contour and highlight, I always go back to this guy, and I've hit pan on it, obviously, and I really just wanted to finish this palette as well, because I have had this for a while, and I think it's time for me to say goodbye to this little guy right here, but I wanted to give this a final shout out before he goes to my garbage, but I'm not going to until I'm actually kind of satisfied and I know that his expired, but I love this. This one, my, the color I have it here is in medium and it just suits my skin very well. It's a nice bronzing slash contouring shade for my skin tone. And then the last palette product I have to show you guys is this Lorac the resort palette this was very inexpensive when it was first released and i just love the convenience of taking this with me to work because it has the bronzer that can use as a contour blushes a highlight and i love that it has a two dark shadows right here that you can use as liner and i just really love the portability of this palette and it's so cute look at that packaging it's quite shiny and pretty and i absolutely adore this the past few months i've been obsessed with buying brow products because most of the companies i felt like the past month or the past few months because since i haven't done a favorites video has come out with some brow product of some sort and I have found three loves from these new releases. The first one is the e.l.f. one. This is a very inexpensive option. I believe I got mine in neutral brown. If you're in a hurry, you just want to like swipe it in, brush it out, and then you're good to go. This is two dollars. The color neutral brown is actually really nice because it doesn't have any red undertones at all and it's only two dollars. My only thing is that the pencil isn't as sharp but you don't really need it to be sharp if you're like on the go if you just wanted to fill in your eyebrows if you're not really sculpting your eyebrows you don't really need that um, the brush is just a little bit too big for your eyebrows but you know what for two dollars it works the other two bar products that I have right here are from NYX and then this one is the BH Studio Pro eyebrow pencil I really like the NYX product because I love the color. I have it in brunette, but I may like the BH Studio Pro product a little bit better than the NYX one, mainly because I like the spoolie of the BH Cosmetics one a little bit better, and I felt like construction-wise of the whole packaging is a little bit sturdier on the BH Cosmetics one, and it's cheaper. I got the BH Studio one and I believe I got the color in brunette and it matches my eyebrows really well. It has the same concept. It has a micro pencil that is, it's really skinny so you can really get into the sparse areas of your eyebrows. And again, this, I get, I believe the BH Cosmetics one was only $5 and then the next one was $10. And then for mascara, the CoverGirl Lash Super Sizer shouldn't be a surprise because I did a review on this and I pretty much raved about it because I absolutely adore this mascara. It takes a while to get used to because it's got a really unique wand, but once you kind of get used to it, this mascara holds a curl like no other and it thickens your lashes like no other and I just love this one. And then this one, I have lukewarm feelings for it. I've had this mascara for a while and never used it. I have two of them since I bought this during Christmas time and it was a two pack and I've never used it. And I've used it once. I tried using it by itself. I don't really like using this by itself. It doesn't do anything for my lashes. I feel like the formula of this is a little too wet for the kind of lashes I have. I have very straight, thick Asian lashes. And the only time I actually can make this work and it actually looks lovely, natural, and voluminous is when I mix it with the Tarte um, Multiply Primer. So this two together is a godsend if you wanted that very volumized look and Tarte products are all natural. So if you're sensitive, if you have sensitive eyes, this would be good for you. And then this product right here, I'm pretty, I don't really know if I'm going to put it as a a hate it or a favorite product. I've been obsessed with the Kat Von D um, Trooper liner, the tattoo liner in Trooper, and I wanted to do a kind of like a dupe for it with this 
product but my only problem is it's dried out within maybe like two weeks this is the physician's formula liner so I've been holding this up but this is the physician's formula liner and it's about ten dollars so it's half of the price of the Kat Von D one but I have had the sample for the Kat Von D one for a while and that thing has not dried out this one I opened it two weeks later it was dry this you can still write on it but you can't do delicate strokes because there's absolutely no product that comes out so this was a love at first and now I kind of don't like it because of the fact that it dried up earlier so take it as it is I don't really know what to say about you because I did love you but now I don't know I might as well just spend the money on the Kat Von D one since that one lasted a little bit longer than you so I'm talking to my eyeliner and then the last of the makeup products I wanted to show you guys are the lip products that I have been obsessed with and they are almost the same exact color from each other but I'm going to show you guys anyways so the first one is purposeful one is purposeful mauve from Maybelline and it's from their limited edition collection I believe and it's just a very pretty nude your lips but better color and this is going to be the same for the rest of the shades I'm going to show you. The next one is called, it's from Spo Sp The next one I have here is from Sonia Kashuk and it's called their Spicy Nude Lippy and I absolutely love these. The only thing about these, I have two of this color. This one is the one that I gravitate towards a lot and I've worn a lot the past few months. And the only thing I don't like is that it's not, it's not the one that you twist and then the product comes out you actually have to sharpen it so that's the only downside but the, the color is absolutely beautiful and if you're into the matte lips this gives you a matte lip and the formula is actually really nice and comfortable on the lips so I highly recommend that and then I have another one right here this one is from Colourpop it's one of their lippy sticks and this one is called Pinch it's one of their matte lippy sticks and I believe this is from their collaboration of Rumor Willis Rula Roo. I don't know what that dance is for, but this one right here is just very nice. Again, your lips but better. And as I'm telling you, they all almost look like each other. So this is another favorite. And then the last lip combination that I am wearing right now. So if you can't see it, I don't know why I had to do this since you can see it from the same distance. But um, the lip combination that I am wearing right now, this one is Milani's Matte Beauty. I have been telling everyone about this because this is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very, it's a brownish nude. I just love the color. And to define my lips, I use the Milani Spice Lip Liner. They're basically the same color and together they make the perfect pair. So... I absolutely love that. So now moving on to my non-beauty favorites. If you are still watching, thank you for staying. I know this video is probably 5 million years long and one favorite is 5 million. I, every time I say something that's that takes a long time, I say 5 million. I don't know why, but I say 5 million. Anyways, moving on to my lifestyle favorites, I guess. So the first food favorite I have right here is called the Bark Thin Snacking Chocolate. If you have a sweet tooth like I do, I love chocolate. I try to control my chocolate intake and this is a good buddy to have. This one is their dark chocolate almond with sea salt and it's just basically I just take a little slice of it after dinner or after anything I eat and I've got my chocolate craving done for the it's very yummy I got it from Target it's very inexpensive it was only four dollars so they have different flavors for this one but I gravitated towards the almond with sea salt being the March April May period of my life this past few months I have been I have had favorite shows I wanted to share with you first of which is Outlander if you have stars if you're a subscriber of that cable network. Um, I believe it's available to kind of rent on Amazon Prime as well. Um, if you love period dramas like I do, I love the costumes, I love the mannerisms, and I wish I was born during that time, but Outlander is a very unique story and it's just a very cute love story as well between Jamie and Jamie is very cute so if you, and if you wanted to watch that show just because of Jamie I wouldn't totally blame you but that show is 
pretty darn awesome. And then the next show is The 100. I was just kind of scrolling through Netflix and just kind of came across The 100 and I was I became easily hooked. I love the whole idea of The 100. It's kind of like a this it's a different world, so I love that. It's kind of a sh an escape from the reality, so I love the story of it, and I don't really know what the ne next season will have for us because it's kind of a very, very unique story. Last big thing that's kind of taken over my life, I have been obsessed with reading. And when you think reading, I don't think I don't read very deep books. <laughs> I am a child at heart and within the past month and a half I have read 24 books and with those 24 books they're all dystopian teeny bopper love stories so I've expanded my blog to kind of include some book reviews as well so that's another favorite I guess I've been obsessed with just kind of going to my blog and kind of adding just little designs here and there and I wanted to kind of reboot my blog to include a lot more things other than beauty so I've included like random rambling some book reviews and DIYs so I haven't really posted any new thing but that's kind of like the future aspect of it anyways back to my obsession with reading and with my obsession with reading I have three apps that I've been obsessed with the first one is called Oyster. Oyster is basically Netflix for books. I will link my link down below. Um, it is a subscription service, but if you wanted to try out, they have a 30-day free trial, and I believe they have a summer promo going on as well for 99 cents for the whole three months, and you get unlimited books. So think Netflix for books, Oyster. I will have my link down below if you wanted to help me out and if you just wanted to try out the service for 30 days and just unsubscribe after so you, they don't charge you and you still help me out by using my link if you wanted to do that, I will link it down below. And then the next one is called Overdrive. This is new to me since I have just kind of started kind of obsessing with reading. Um, Overdrive is basically an app where you connect to your libraries. So I am connected to two libraries and you rent books from there. It's really, really awesome. So I never knew that the library had a free ebook rental. Genius. And then the last book is called The 3M Cloud Library. So it's basically the same concept as Overdrive, but I don't really know what makes them different, but Overdrive provides more versatility and 3M is a little bit more of a simpler interface, I guess. And if you're wondering, the recent series that I've finished reading is the legend series by Marie Lu and I have been slightly upset upset about the ending for champion I mean it's I don't want to spoil it for anyone but it, you go through a very emotional roller coaster with that book I'm just gonna leave it at that so if you're interested in seeing book reviews for these teeny bopper love stories that I have been reading head on over to my blog since I will be posting hopefully eventually soon with that so hopefully I don't fail and I keep up with all these plans that I have for my blog if you have stayed till the very end of this video thank you all so much for watching I have a mini giveaway to give you guys this is actually my birthday and I wanted to give back I will have a tiny giveaway on my Instagram as well I'm just gonna give away a palette on my Instagram so my Instagram is just about something pretty and if you wanted to follow me on snapchat my name is Anjali Poo I don't really post beauty videos on my snapchat it's basically just my life and my dorky self so if you wanted to kind of see what I do when I'm not doing beauty videos head on over there and follow me but I wanted to do a mini giveaway as well here on my channel since it, since it is my birthday um, it's nothing fancy so these are the pals, some of the things that I've included in my favorites video so I'm gonna be giving away one of the Polish Choice blush palette uh, Lorac Resort palette and the e.l.f. ultimate blending brush because I have been loving this guy uh, and then last but not the least is a lipstick I believe yes it's another one of the Maybelline purposeful lipstick and this flat liners thing and I'm adding this flat liners thing in there because I received that to try I got two I didn't really like it but maybe you will have better luck with that flat liner so 
I will give that to you as well. And I'll probably slip in some other things if I find something else along the way, but all the information will be in the information bar. Also, head on over to my Instagram if you wanted to win the palette that I will be giving away on my Instagram. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want you to see it. It's just a small palette. It's, as always, it's going to be an international giveaway because everyone deserves a chance to win. So, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. You guys found this helpful and I will talk to you all later. Bye!